Good morning, folks. Louisiana Long here. I thought while I have some downtime, I'd give you a short look at my left-hand rear brake that I've come up with on the Africa Twin, my 2016 Africa Twin, affectionately known as Katie. So here is the master cylinder. And what I have done is taken the master cylinder clutch master cylinder from a CB1100 ABS 19, or excuse me, 2017 model. And I used it particularly for the mast here so I could have my mirror integrated with the master cylinder. I've attached the emergency or pardon me parking brake to the bottom of the master cylinder as a temporary setup just to see that the whole system would work. I made my own line braided steel with dash 3 fittings and ran that underneath the tank and down to the master cylinder the original foot master cylinder you can see the back here of the master cylinder itself and this little spacer that I used to space the master cylinder out so it would clear the clutch or excuse me the blinker perch the gauge perch and be able to be butted up against the housing I used a POOG adapter Honda adapter and the shorty lever which is adjustable out works pretty good I've only checked it here on the stand running the motor in gear and then using the brake but it seems to be fairly functional the line the brake line runs down through the tank under there comes out here at the original where the original line comes out and attaches from the ABS module to the master cylinder the foot master cylinder the stocker and I've attached it here using a piece of aluminum that I shaped to fit inside the original master cylinder and I JB weld and pressed it in I also tapped it for 3 8 by quarter pipe so I could screw in a 90 degree dash 3 to 3 8 quarter pipe and use that as my fitting to attach my brake line to. So at this point in time, the foot brake still works. The original master cylinder, which I actually bought an extra one in order to do this so that I would have a clean master cylinder and if necessary I could put back on the stock components if I sell the bike or if it didn't function. Right now the original master cylinder that attached here, the reservoir and the master cylinder with the line I have in a different location, in a box. The parking brake which is mounted, like I said, against the master cylinder and it works fine. It clears the tank and all, but it's cumbersome. And it was cumbersome even in its stock form, which the lever came right out here against the bark busters and it was hard to get at, especially with gloves. But you can't, I couldn't get it even reaching with my short little fingers to get at it without having to take my hand off the grip and all. So it was a little inconvenient. So what I have come up with there is 
this piece from Brake Fix, which is a clamping device that is made out of pretty sturdy plastic. You lift this portion, slide it down. Let me do this one-handed here. Slide it down against your lever. Put it over the grip. Pull the brake back. And, oop, oh, that's why. Pull the brake back and then snap it into position. And that holds the brake solid. It has a number of grooves right here that you can go farther out or closer in and it's not going to be a wear and tear item so it's plenty strong comes from brake flick fix brake fix in Florida to take it off you just pop it with one hand bing bang it's off now there's a couple of ways that you can go about this but here's some of the parts that I use. The brake fix itself, this little spacer, which I got from Revzilla, it's the one that goes in between the master cylinder and the bar. And then I could have used another master cylinder that I had that was a little bit uh, less expensive. And that's to get, to use it, I would have needed a perch for the mirror and I found there is a back portion of the whatever this is called that actually has a stock for putting a uh, it's threaded so you can put a mirror into it and I could have gone that way that master cylinder ran about hundred and eighty nine dollars the one that I'm using ran about 209 I believe the original system that I've been looking at for a long time required the use of the Honda ADVX 750 which has a left-hand front brake it's a scooter that is made in Europe or sold in Europe and it would would have been more of a more quickly bolt up although I still would have had to make the line and do something with the lower master cylinder now I could have run the line straight back to the caliper if I had wanted to and eliminated the foot brake altogether but for right now I'm gonna keep it on so my my decision to make right now is do I go ahead and remove this master cylinder, or excuse me, the parking brake assembly altogether? Between the cable, this bracketry there, and the caliper itself, which is that little guy right inside that cover, would probably save me about five pounds. And with this, the brake fix, since I, uh, brake fit, fix, fix, since I found it, that would allow me to completely remove that whole system. And any weight I could save would be great. So that is my left hand rear brake for now. And I, because of the, virus I haven't been able to get out on the road we're locked down in Louisiana pretty tight um, so there's not a lot of just running around that you can do so I still haven't been able to road test it but I have tested it on the stand with the motor running and in gear and put the brake on quite a few times but of course that has no load under it so it doesn't tell you completely but that is my left hand rear brake so this is Louisiana Long saying stay safe, ride free, ride forever, and y'all take care.